All right. All right. Broncos. We have a lot to get through today. Good to see you both. Um, Ludi, I'll start with you. How familiar were you with the game, the original game? Uh, I think the game was probably one of my best friends when I was a kid. So I used to be very familiar with them. We had uh, kind of a fallout for 15 years. And when I got cast in the movie, I picked it up again. And uh, we had a sort of reacquaintance and an updated version because the game grew up as well. I picked up MK11 Ultimate after that. Um, and we're just as good, man. It didn't take much time to catch up with it. And uh, these callous thumbs prove it. I'm um, very familiar, very familiar. I mean, uh, I, I saw the movie when I was a kid um, in 95 and I was very impressed by the whole world and how they, and and even having um, an Asian actor as the lead, uh, Robin Chow back then. So I was just inspired. I, I actually loved his hair, man. Like <laughs> I try to, to get the same haircut. As <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so And then years. later on for, um, when I got the role, I, um, I, I, I bought Mortal Kombat 11 for that um, b- before I got the role. So um, since then, I've been playing all day. Jessica, what impact, if at all, did this game have on you? Did you play it back in the day? Did you play it now? What, tell me everything. I, I wasn't allowed to play it growing up in my household, <laughs> but I used to play it at my cousin's house without my parents knowing. Um, and I always used to play Sonia. So it was really cool when this opportunity came up and I jumped at the opportunity to play her. That is a cool story. We could spend hours uh, talking about why you weren't able to play it, but we won't. But I love the fact that you shared that with me. Josh, uh, same question for you. Uh, impact this game had on you. Were you. I wasn't really a gamer, but I knew the game. Yeah, similarly, I was the same. Yeah, so so uh, I played the game as a kid, you know, at the corner store, the you know the old fashioned way, the arcade, um, and 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 loved it, right? And, and you know those that and and uh, games like it, uh, but stepped away, you know, it didn't it didn't really stick with the gaming thing as I grew up. So coming back was, uh, you know, I was a bit surprised at how uh, how much that you know, the history of the game of Mortal Kombat has grown. I mean, yeah. if you go on, do like a deep dive. Uh, on the, online and what the fans have, you know, recorded in terms of character development and worlds and, uh, you know, for Mortal Kombat, you, you really get a sense that, um, you know, this game has grown, uh, you know, beyond just the simple two-player fighting game that it was when it first got released. Ludi, I have to, okay, we got to talk fight scenes now because obviously this this movie just starts from the very beginning and it just doesn't stop. I mean, it is nonstop. And you, you while we're in it, I was just watching it and I was like, I was exhausted. So Ludi, tell me about, uh, you know, your producer has said that each fight scene had a personality. What was it like to fight uh, and actually film a lot of those scenes? Was it exhausting? Was obviously a lot of effort into it? Tell me what you felt and what you went through. Uh, I think what you guys saw, what ended up in the movie is like the tip of the iceberg in the fight scenes. If we had to do 10 Mortal Kombat movies, we already filmed it. Um, All the fight scenes are there. I hope they have like, uh, you know, the Snyder's cut had a four hour cut. We would have probably a 20 hour (laughs) cut for Mortal Kombat. There were so many fights. We, yeah, we, we, we felt like we were lucky to get out alive uh, at the end, just because some of the fights have to serve the story. Um, A lot of fights were really exciting, but um, to, to play out in that way, there wouldn't be a focus. It would just be like a bloodbath and, and a melee. But I'm so glad that we got what we got in there. Um, and I just really hope that there's some extension to it so you guys could see the rest of it. I, um, in another sense, all the fights were very physical. So a l- very little of it was CG because Simon had a, had this vision, his concept of everything feeling really gritty and real and analog. There is so much fighting. Jessica, how do you get ready for a role like this? I mean, the training, what was your first cheat meal? Tell me everything. Um, How do you get ready for this, all this fighting? Yeah, uh, it was a lot of work. It was really hard, um, put my head down. And uh, I loved the, you know, the opportunity to train with all of these people that are masters at what they do. So it was, you know, um, we had martial arts training. We had a whole stunt team that taught us all of the choreography you see, I had a personal trainer. Um, I had, yeah, I was, I was like on a strict diet. Uh, it was a lot, but I just wanted to be able to deliver the best kind of Sonya Blade I could. So I was committed to it. 
after you were done filming, did you guys did you guys look around and girls did you did you look around and go, shoo, that's done. Get your thoughts on that, Max. Uh, I think uh, speaking for myself, uh, filming action movies became uh, part of my life. I've uh, been doing it for over a decade right now, but this is really the first time that I um, get the chance to um, be in front of the camera as one of the main actors. So um, I, 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 um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity, to be honest. And um, yeah, man, fighting and fight choreography that like I said, is it's part of my life. That's what I breathe. And that's, um, I, I, I can't see myself uh, doing any other job than being an actor or um, doing movies um, that also involve action and martial arts. Josh, I'm going to give you the last word on this one. Same question, the training. I mean, it just looked like it was just exhausting. You guys invested everything you have, the energy. But again, you have to do it to make this movie right. Right. I mean, um, I, I look, I did the best I could with the time I had. I hope there's a sequel, uh, you know, and I uh, because I would love I would love a chance for Canada to come back bigger and better. Uh, you know, Kano 2.0. Just you wait. There's more, there's more, there's more life in the old girl yet, I tell you. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I look, you know, as you can see, you know, some of the other actors in it are, you know, they have a huge martial arts experience in their, in their career uh, and they, their bodies are weapons. I, I didn't start from that. So I had to train as hard as I could. Um, but uh, it was fun. As an actor, you always want the challenge, right? You want to do something different and something that's going to push you and a new, uh, and, yeah, it's just uh, it's just too bad this uh, COVID pandemic has undone all that work. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny to say, but we're ready to get back into theaters and this is the movie to do it. You have to see this on the biggest screen you can find. I think there'll be more and we'll be talking. And next time, everyone, we will do it in person. How about that? I love that, man. Uh, let's hope so.